how to send out mass emails to a lot of different contacts at once using KV Core. My name is Karamoko from Karamoko Homes and that is what we're going to be talking about today. I'll go step by step, very basic and as detailed as possible so that you can understand and start doing this today. Because let's face it, nobody likes sending emails especially one by one <laughs> and painstakingly customizing it to every single individual. But with these powerful tools like KV Core, using the CRM, you can do this fairly easily. And uh, we're gonna be diving into that together today. If you have any questions, if I'm moving too fast uh, or you're confused along the process, please do not hesitate. Leave your questions down in the comment section below. I get to all of my comments, so I will answer your question. It's located right below the subscribe button, which you should definitely hit on your way there to not miss any future videos. Because at the end of the day, I love connecting with you guys, and I want you to be as successful as possible leveraging all these tools you have at your disposal. Before we dive into this, I must say it's very, very important to know how filters and or hashtags work. If you have no idea what hashtags are, or at least what filters are, I suggest you watch my video about hashtags. I'll link it down in the description below. It's gonna help you understand this video a lot more and uh, get you going so that you can actually start using these tools, okay? So please make sure to watch that video before this one and then come right back to this so that we can get started. So as soon as you get into KV Core, you'll be greeted with your dashboard like you see on my screen right now. And the way we're going to be sending out mass emails actually is within the marketing tab. So you're gonna click on marketing on the left hand side. And if you don't see this menu on the left right here, it's probably because the menu is collapsed like this. You're going to want to click on the three bars at the top left of the screen like so right here. Once you click on it, you're going to go down to the marketing tab and click on that button. Once you go to the marketing tab, if we scroll down just a tiny bit, you're going to notice a box right here that says scheduled mass emails. So this is one of the ways you can send out mass emails to a lot of people in your database. So I'm gonna go ahead and click get started right under that box. And once I do, it's going to take us to this screen right here that you see. So on here, you're going to want to click on the green button that says schedule mass email. So once I click on that, it's going to open up this box that has multiple sections. So I'll take you through, you know, all of those sections so we know what everything is right here. So the most important right here is send email to. So this is where you specify who you want to send this email to, um, whether it's contacts with a specific status in your database, contacts that have a specific hashtag, or contacts that match a specific filter that you saved before. So remember, if you don't know what hashtags are, filters are, or maybe even contact statuses, I suggest you watch the hashtag video I linked in the description below. That way you get a better understanding of you know, what, how all this fits into place. So let's say I wanted to send a mass email to all of the contacts in my database that have a hashtag called friends and family, okay? So I would go under the hashtags tab and I would just go ahead and type friends and family in there because that is the name of my hashtag. If you wanna send a, a mass email to another group within your uh, database, you would just, instead of putting friends and family like I am, just go ahead and type in whatever hashtag they have, okay? And if you want to send um, an email to everyone within your database, just apply one hashtag to everyone and then you can leverage that hashtag to send them all an email, okay? So for me, for the sake of this example, I'm just going to type, you know, friends and family in here, and that's who I would be targeting. Another way to do this would be through saved filters, okay? I talked about saved filters in another video. I'll also be linking that in the description below. But if I was to click on that instead, you have, um, you know, filters that you've previously saved that you can target. So I have a filter called all contacts, and if I click on that, this filter has zero parameters. Therefore, it selects every single person within my database since it has no criteria. So if you wanna learn how to do that, again, link in the description, make sure to watch that video first, open up a new tab, watch that, and then come back to this one. In the middle section, you have a column or a little box that says scope. 
So just make sure this says your name, click on the drop down here and it should have your name uh, listed as one of the options, if not the only option probably. So just make sure it has your name under scope, okay? And then next up you have the column on the right or the box on the right right here. And this column just says, you know, it's asking you when you want this email to be sent out, okay? So it doesn't have to be immediate. You can schedule these emails at any point in the future. So make sure to pay attention to the time zone it's being sent uh, in. So notice here, it says ET. So whatever time I put on here is going to be ET, Eastern time. So be aware of that, okay? You might not be in this time zone, so you might wanna make sure that it's being sent at the actual time you want people to receive it. So you can change the date and you can select a time. I'm just gonna put 2 p.m. here for now. And then we get to, you know, the easy part. Here you can actually type in the subject for the email in here. Uh, you can, so under the subject tab here, you can type obviously the subject of the email. And then if you have some templated, you know, emails already written, you can go ahead and click here and select those templates. But I don't want to be too advanced and too complicated in, the, in this tutorial. So we're going to leave that blank. So when you're ready to type up your email, you can go ahead and do that right here. But here is a very, very powerful tool you can utilize when typing these emails. Again, it's great that you can send a lot of different emails. Uh, again, it's very good that you can send a mass email to everyone, but you want to be able to address all of those people you know, by their names. Because obviously, if you send out a mass email, you don't want it to say, hey, John, to everyone in your database. So KV Core has a very cool feature. You can pop on here and actually tell it to change certain uh, words or you know characters to match whoever you're sending it to, such as the name or maybe an address or maybe you know their phone number or their email. You have certain variables you can include in this email to let KV Core know, hey, make sure to make sure that whoever I'm sending this to, make sure to include their name instead of you know whatever name I put on here. So let's say, um, you know, I wanted to say, hey, and then the contact's name. Instead of typing the contact name, like, hey, John, what I could do here is go to the little sun icon you see right here. It's called the merge tag. So once I click on that, it's going to open up this drop down, and you can choose what information you would like KV Core to replace, um, you know, an input in there for you based on the contact uh, that will receive this email. So maybe I want to say hey and then the contact's full name, I would go to lead, okay, I'm going to click on the sun, go to lead and then go to full name. So notice how KV Core automatically writes full underscore name within brackets. So do not delete this, this is completely normal. The lead will not see this. What's going to happen is once KV Core sends this email out, it's going to replace this uh, information within the brackets with the lead's full name. And if you want it to be something else, you could do just that. I can delete this, click on the little sun icon, go to lead, and then go to just first name. So now it's gonna say, hey, first name. So if John is receiving this email, KV Core is gonna replace this with, hey, John. If Claudia is receiving this email, KV Core is gonna replace first name with Claudia, you know, so on and so forth. And you can do this with so many other variables. You could do title, their phone number, an email, a location. You can even include your personal info in there, your name, you know, last name, full name, avatar even, so many cool things. So that is how you schedule mass emails to specific groups within your database. So there's actually another method, okay? We're gonna go back to the dashboard right here just to start from scratch. Another way to send out emails to a lot of people at once in your database is right from the Smart CRM section of KV Core. So if you notice here, I'm gonna click on Smart CRM. It's gonna open that up right here. It's gonna load up all of the contacts within your database. And let's say you would like to manually select who you would like to send you know, a mass email to. You could just go ahead and do that right from this screen. So if I zoom in on here, I can go ahead and actually select, you know, maybe I want to send something to Donna 
I want to send something to David Pena, something to John, maybe not Isabel, maybe not, um, you know, this person. Let's skip on to April, something to Art and Roberto, okay? So notice how I selected these people within the Smart CRM tab. I do have quick actions up top right here next to the search bar, such as mass email, which is the topic um, at hand right now. So if I was to click on mass email after selecting those people, it's going to do the same exact thing. I can go ahead and you know type in my subject and then I can type up the email. And remember, you can utilize the sun icon here and actually replace that with the appropriate information for all of the contacts that will be receiving this email, okay? And uh, yeah, that's how you send mass emails to people. If you have any questions on anything I did or did not fully understand, please leave a comment in the comment section below, right below the subscribe button. So make sure to hit that on your way there to not miss any more videos I upload in the future. Uh, and if you need more help, please book a one-on-one -on -one with me. It's absolutely free. I love connecting with new agents, so go ahead and do that. And I look forward to talking to you soon. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful day or a wonderful night, and I will see you in the next video.